Welcome back, guys. Okay, I'm excited for this one. Today, I put together a list of what I feel are the top 10 most badass fishing boats you can get for 2024 and 2025. Fully loaded luxury fishing boats. Let's get into it. All right, guys, thanks for joining. All right, we're kicking things off with Beneteau. Usually I'm surprised by the price because it's always more than I think it should be. But with Beneteau, it just seems like you're getting a lot of boat for your money. Also, as we do this countdown, we're not going to look at just one boat and then move on. On some of these boats, we might look at two or three. Because it's not about just the individual boat. It's, it's kind of about the quality of boat that these guys make. Okay, so this is the one we want to see right here. This one is fully set up for fishing. We will drop back in a second and take a closer look at that. First, we're going to jump on this big guy and take a look. It's got V6s, 200s. So Beneteau is a boat that offers a pretty wide variety of layouts that you can get. They're not just kind of like a, you know, some of the boats... Um, one boat that you look at is almost the same as the other one, just a little bit bigger, right? But with Beneteau, they have a, a pretty good variety of layouts that they offer. One of them is just set up for entertaining, set up to be like a weekender type boat. The next one might be fully set up for fishing, and uh, they just have some different layouts to choose from. So, And the interior finishes, like what you see here, it's like it's really nice, but it's not like total custom, you know. It's not cheap, but it's not total custom either. It's kind of in the middle, but really nice and such a better price than some of the other boats that are so expensive. All right, the fishing machine. Let's check it out. One forty. So to me, that's a really good price. That's as good as you're going to get for a boat like this. Rocket launchers, outdoor lights. Inside, again, not total luxury, but nice. I mean, all your electronics. Nice boat. Nice boat for 140 for sure. But they got single outboards on them. So that, that keeps the price down too. They don't have the double outboards. So I would be interested to hear some comments about that. Do you feel comfortable going out onto the ocean if your boat has a single outboard on it? I mean, I would. I wouldn't be too worried about it. Especially if you have a new boat with a newer four-stroke motor on it. They're so much more reliable than the old motors used to be. They're, they'll be fine. Okay, Ranger Tugs. Now, Ranger Tugs, they're not specifically a fishing boat. But, again, just like the Benetos we just looked at, they kind of offer you a variety of layouts. And the deck of the boat can be just fully set up for fishing with downriggers, everything. And they're so nice. The Ranger Tugs are works of art from top to bottom, inside and out. I mean, I would say the boat that gives you the most boat for your money the most bang for your buck is probably ranger tugs because they're just just works of art inside and out they're just beautiful and they're made to go long distances so if you if you like the idea of, of a weekender type boat where you can take off for like three days and crash in your boat they're perfect for that they brought at least six boats to the boat show and there was people on every single boat there is a lot of interest in these boats they are Probably the most popular boat at any boat show. So I couldn't get on, but I do have a couple other videos on my channel where we do get on and take a closer look, so those are there. Okay, Ocean Sport. A fitting name for this boat, for sure. These boats are serious ocean boats, man. These are fishing machines. Look at that. Beautiful. Two four hundred V tens. Ooh, sweet. 
Yep. If you want to be a charter boat captain, here you go. All right, we're going to get on board this baby and take a closer look. Little live well, little bait cutting station in the middle. Outdoor steering console. Full weekender. I mean, you could use this as a weekender boat for two to four people. Or if you wanted to take a group of people out, you wanted to be a charter captain. I mean, and you can fish eight people off the back of this boat. Okay, Seasport, up here in the Pacific Northwest, these are really popular. What do we got, 283? 283,000. These are fishing machines. These are fully made for fishing in the Pacific Northwest or anywhere where you might get a little bit of rough weather. They always got the full cabin, solid back doors, ready for any rough water, rough weather. Okay, sailfish. I love sailfish. Such a beautiful boat. If you feel like you're paying up for the name, some of the more expensive boats, and they're just too expensive, and you want an alternative, sailfish is a great boat to look at. So 106 for a 22-footer. You know, definitely a much better price than the big name boats like your Grady White and Boston Whaler. Yeah, and same goes for Roballo. Again, another beautiful boat. I feel like when you compare it to the big dogs, you're getting a nice boat for your money, a much better price. 78.9 for a 20 footer. That's a good price. Yep, this would be about 125 at least if it was a Grady White. But that's a nice boat. Fold up that back seat. You got room enough back there to do some serious fishing. Not a lot, but good enough. So Rabala does a great job of Offering you an affordable alternative to some of those expensive boats. 24 footer. They give you a nice single outboard to keep the price down. See, 165 for 24 footer. 300 V6 on it. It'd be double for a Grady White. Awesome fishing boat, man. Beautiful. Yep. 24 foot Boston Whaler or Greater Weight, one of those boats. It's going to be way more. I could not afford it. I would definitely be thinking about something like this. Gino. Love Genos, man. When you step onto a Gino, you can see how high the sides are, and you feel very safe in these boats. These boats, seaworthy boats. I feel safe taking one of these out onto the ocean. Man, what a nice boat for the price. We'll check out the price tag in a second, but I think it's like 159 Fold up those seats. You're ready for fishing. What do we got here? 
149,000. 150,000 for that boat. That is such a nice boat for that price. I mean, I don't think I'm going to see another boat that you're going to get that much boat for your money for 150,000. Another one similar to the one we just saw. This one's got two outboards. Slightly bigger. Just going to bring the price up. What do you got? 339,000. 27 footer for 170,000 with a 250 V6 on it. I mean, that's a great price. Look at this thing. Look at this fishing machine. That's a killer boat for a killer price right there. And a fishing machine. You are not going to beat that. You are not going to get a more impressive fishing boat for that price. Okay, same price, 170000 This is a 24-footer. 300 to 6 Why is it the same price, but it's a smaller boat? Hmm. I guess the design, weekender style boat or an overnighter style boat. 307,000 for this one. 29 footer. Okay, well craft. Another high-end fishing boat. Triple 300s, pilot house. What do we got here? Well, oh, that's beautiful. 699,000. 35 foot. Look at all those electronics. Everything's ready to go. Hello. Hi. What do you guys think of those captain's chairs? I mean, it's kind of cool that everybody has their own captain's chair, but I don't know. I kind of like the wide bench seating type of seat. Just a nice, big, wide, cushy bench seat. Really nice cabins. Guys, we're at the top three now. Grady White. 21 and a half footer for 123,000. I'm giving Grady White the third spot. If you're talking about strictly fishing, you could maybe give Grady White the number one spot. But if you want that luxury and fishing everything, then yeah, I put it at number three. Okay, now we're stepping it up a notch. <laughs> What do we got? 153,000 for another 21 footer. Sold. Lucky guy. And look at the space in back. I mean, Grady White boats are set up for fishing. I mean, the way they're set up, the way the seats are, the way they have space in the back to land a big fish. I mean, they're just, the way they set them up is just the best.
Okay, we're stepping it up to the 23 footer. The layout is pretty much the same, only two feet bigger. 179,000, 180,000. Ouch. All right, 30 footer for 355,000, for 356. Ooh, they got the bait station, little bait cutting station. Love that. So Grady White makes their seats so that like the driver's seat and passenger seat sit up high like that so you can see across the water better. So if you're looking to, for debris or fish jumping or birds or whatever, you can see better. That's why Grady White is one of the best. So another 23 footer, 210,000. Pursuit boats again, another really awesome just fishing machine. These boats are going to compete with your Boston Whalers, Grady Whites, for a better price. 32 footer. For me, when I retire, I hope to retire in Hawaii and go out fishing for marlins and yellow fins and mahis. Something like this would just be absolutely perfect. Not like I can afford it, but I love those rear facing seats back there. Love the seating layout. For me, I want a boat that's just comfortable in the front and set up for fishing in the back. Man, awesome weekender boat. Five footer, it's not showing the price. Triple three hundred V sixes. Another one like the one we just saw, but it's a bit bigger. <laughs> it's got two rear facing seats back there. I love that. Man, that is the perfect fishing boat. That is so beautiful. Catch a fish, grill up some fresh fish fillets from the fish you just caught on that little grill. kitchen is actually big enough that you could actually make something to eat. You even got two burners on the stove instead of one. And look at how big this bathroom is. You actually have room in this bathroom. Got a shower, a toilet. Don't have to keep your elbows tucked in. Or actually it's a closet, but there's a shower.
Here we go. 700,000. Oh, 709. <laughs> Boston Whalers. All right. So we're going to start off with the little ones, work our way up to the big ones. Okay, then we got a dual console, 141,000 for a 21 footer, so. Yep. Pretty much the same boat as that Ribala we saw, and that Ribala was right at about a hundred. So you're paying up for the Boston Whaler name a little bit. Okay, 28 footer, 399. Twin 250s. Gates. I mean, that's just too much. I'm sorry. Nice boat, but 400,000. I mean, this cabin better be nice for 400000 So it is a weekender, as it should be for that price. Five eighty-one for the 32-footer. 300s, V8s. Okay, now that's a much better deck for fishing. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, I'm definitely liking this one better. I love this boat. Man. Fishing machine, luxury weekender. Solid cabin, solid back doors. Ready for any kind of weather. That's a beast. Okay, here we go again. 32 footer, 597,000. V10s, 400s. Similar to the boat we just saw. This has got the open back. Depends on where you live and what kind of weather you get and what you're going to be doing. Nice Florida boat. Nice Hawaii boat. The other one. Nice Pacific Northwest boat, maybe. 1.6. Ow! V12s. Six hundred horse V twelves, three of them. What a monster! Those rear facing seats sit up so high, though. That's it seems like it'd be kind of difficult to get in and out of those seats. I mean, they're so high above the deck. No, oh, that little step thing folds out, so you can use that as a step. So that's pretty cool.
<laughs> How many flat screens do you need in one boat? The passenger's got one. Oh, Captain's no. got two. You can watch your navigator play Xbox and watch a football game all at the same time. Okay, this is what you get for 1.6. Nice big bed, comfortably sleeps two, flat screen. Another flat screen. One point six, though. Okay, the king, the Boston Whaler king. Look at that. Jesus, dude, everything. Little kitchen, full grill, fridge, huge deck to fish. You got a couple of guys fishing and somebody cooking at the same time. Man, 